The Grenada Pesticides Control Board has recently reappointed for a new term following a brief period of inactivity. The board oversees the importation and use of pesticides in accordance with the Pesticide Control Act. It comprises representatives from the Ministry of Agriculture, including the, Pres the Pest Management Officer, as well as representatives from the Ministry of Health, including the Chief Medical Officer and two individuals appointed by the Minister of Agriculture. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Isaac Bagwan, acknowledges that the board has faced operational challenges in recent years and that the upcoming task will be significant. He highlights concerns relating to licensing, regulation, and public awareness. Bagwan emphasizes the need for increased focus on biological control as part of its regulatory responsibilities regarding pesticide issues. What we need to do is to work hand in hand with um, those who import and distribute these chemicals. We are aware, Mr. Ramsey would have done um, a quick visit uh, since he has been here to um, a number of these um, uh, stores that um, import and sell, sell this pesticide. And of course, some observation that, that would have been made was the whole issue of um, repackaging and labeling. Yeah? Um, sometimes, um, um, we, we repackage and we don't have adequate labels and, and the product that we have repackaged. And this is important, you know, so that the farmers would know. Um, and of course, it has to be labeled appropriately because uh, these chemicals are in fact hazardous. And some of these chemicals do cause cancer. And so uh, the consuming public or the farmers and whoever purchased it need to be able to um, know what the product is, what the content is, and what are the safety precautions and also treatment that is required because sometimes um, when you become exposed, by the time you seek medical help, you need to um, administer certain um, precautionary measures in this regard. Efforts will be made to guide the pesticide board in developing regulations on the appropriate distribution of pesticides. Because it's um, an open society, anyone, whether you're a farmer or any person, um, would just go walk into the store and purchase um, these chemicals. We would have to probably move to the point where um, the, to regulate that um, if the, 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 the um, uh, persons who are importing and distributing, that they would have to see some kind of um, identification from the farmers. They probably would have to get something from the, the, the extension division to validate that indeed um, the persons are using it um, for the purpose intended. You know, because sometimes some farmers, they, they purchase some of these banned items, which some of them do slip through the system, and um, they use it um, probably um, because they have a problem with um, dogs and so, you know, um, just to um, indiscriminately and give it out. So we need to guard against these kind of things and make sure we have these kind of tight regulations and monitoring in place. The Pesticides Control Board is usually appointed to serve a term of two years.